Hi, my name is Adi. And I'm Jess. And we're here to talk about Pinoy Viral Websites, Aggregators, and Clickbaits. So, what are aggregator websites and what do you mean by clickbaits? Aggregator websites are professional reposters of the stuff online. They're not to be confused with media websites that actually create content. These sites make money by luring people to their ad-filled pages, oftentimes by method of clickbaiting. Clickbaits are, well, links that use attention-grabbing titles that makes you want to click out of fear of missing out or what people call FOMO. Fear of missing out. Most of the time, Sila yung mga bitin na titles and headlines, such as the title of this video. We asked our viewers to share this video. The results will blow your mind. And it will change everything. We have our own viral websites that appeared in the recent years, such as TrendingPinoyNews.blogspot.com SolSol.ph Kicker Daily Viral For Real James Band PinoyNewsPortal.com Mukhang parehas din yung itsura niya sa ibang aggregator websites. At ang sabi nga sa kanyang disclaimer, wala daw siyang kasiguraduhan na ang kanyang pinopost dito ay may accuracy, currency, o completeness. Ganyan din sa iba pang websites. Sketchy, di ba? Kung titignan ang mga sikat na aggregator websites na kumakala sa social media, mapapansin natin na magkakamukha ang interface nila. Gumagamit sila ng grid sa gitna, video links at sidebars na puno ng content, at syempre, mga ads kung paano sila kumikita ng pera. Ang Upworthy, yung American website na nagpasikat ng clickbaiting, ay hindi gumagamit ng ads. Ngunit yung mga Pinoy websites ay gumagamit ng sobrang daming ads. Marami dito mga ads na galing sa mga mobile telecommunications, sa mga cellphone, broadband, meron ding e-commerce, o buy and sell websites at madami ding online dating. For computations of earnings in content-heavy blogs, we have used this estimation formula. So an article with at least 1 million unique visitors could earn at least 16,000 pesos per ad and that's only using Google AdSense. So kapag mayroong apat na ad sa isang page, pwede siyang kumita ng mga 50 to 70,000 per 1 million page impressions. All you have to do is repost stuff online. Dahil nakatago sa anonymity ang mga owners ng websites na ito, mahirap malaman kung sino ang mga nagmamanage sa kanila. Hindi imposible na magkakakonekta sila at nasa isang malaking network. Pwede nating mapansin ang mga koneksyon ng mga ibang aggregator sites sa mga ibang local TV celebrities at social media personalities. Dahil almost exclusively, sila lamang ang mga sinishare ng mga tao at personalidad na ito. Kita na maaaring organized effort ang mga ito dahil wala na silang iba pang sinishare na websites. So it is not surprising that Filipinos are inclined to view more ads than the average netizen. Parang salay silang mapalibutan ng mga advertisements sa kanilang environment, both online and offline. According to this Nielsen study, Ever since 2007, Filipinos have a 61% trust rating of online ads from social networks beating other countries such as Thailand, Indonesia, Singapore, Vietnam, the global average, which is 48%. This is why clickbaits thrive and receive very minimal criticism in the Philippines, because we love ads too much. But in defense of clickbait websites abroad, Steve Hind, a Sydney-based strategy consultant, said that well, basically the way that, that advertisers pay for ads on websites is by page impressions. So if you can say to people, the average person that comes onto our site will read one article, click through to two more and spend five minutes on the page, you'll be able to demand a much higher premium from advertisers. Um, and I think that's why there's an incentive to combine clickbait to get people in with strong content to keep them on the site. Steve Hind is a Sydney-based strategy consultant. His piece in defense of clickbait appeared in The Guardian. Steve, thank you. Thank you. In conclusion, monetizing the web is not a bad thing. This pushes people, let's say YouTube partners, to make more creative and engaging original content. However, 
Some websites have earned just by copying, recycling, and sometimes stealing content from their original creators and sources. These different aggregated websites have mastered the ways of social sharing by partnering with dominant social media entities with a huge following. These partners share these recycled content to their followers and thus bring more people to their websites, sometimes using clickbaiting as a form of exploitation to their fan base. Clickbaits are the modern-day tabloid headlines, oftentimes referred by media professionals as the lowest form of social media journalism. Facebook understands this mechanism, that's why it's cracking down on clickbait to improve timeline content. According to Sally Cohn, on her TED talk about clickbaits, what we click and what we share shapes the culture of the internet. Clearly, people are still figuring out the different ways to monetize how we use social media and generally how we use the internet. Being a very connected society as a social media and texting capital of the world, we believe these kinds of sites are receiving very little attention and criticism. Should Filipino netizens welcome these kinds of sites and methods in our online spaces? Let us know by writing your opinion in our comment section. So once again, I'm Adi Buntuyan. I'm Jess Plosius saying, Think before you click. Subscribe. Subscribe.